Another week, another adventure. Let's go. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today we're going to West Cork, and uh, it's raining here. Uh, it's been raining for like the past like three days in Dublin, but uh, hopefully West Cork will be nice. So let's go head over there, and um, yeah, see you guys there. Peace. So everyone just made it to West Cork and I'm about to go tour the Charles Fort. Uh, so yeah, let's go do that. The bus trip was about like four hours, so it was pretty long compared to last week, so it was only like an hour and a half. Uh, it rained for like the first hour, but the rest of it was really nice getting to see all the scenery and all the mountains and the fog and everything that was creating was like really cool. So yeah, let's go explore this fort and then uh, we're gonna head into town and do a walking tour so let's go getting on somehow and the battle was mainly going up in the northwest of the country up by Donegal and it was, it was part of a nine years war it was a nine years war and the Irish underneath a guy called O'Neill and O'Donnell and Tyrrell they were winning a lot of the battles but they weren't winning the war and they said mm, we better get some help 
So they decided what they do, they'd ask King Philip II of Spain to come and help them. Now, he was the guy that did, he was the Spanish Inquisition guy. Nobody expects that Spanish Inquisition. But the reason we asked him was, we were a Roman Catholic country, they were a Roman Catholic country, and we were both trying to get rid of Queen Elizabeth I of England, the Protestant Queen. So King Philip II of Spain looked at the whole thing and said, geez, this kind of works. Like, if I go over and help them in Ireland, I'll settle there and I can use Ireland to invade England. So, kind of like it's a natural thing. So I got done with the tour of the city and then like right after I was so hungry, I went to a place called Dino's Fish and Chips uh, shop. And it was like a family owned thing, which was really cool to see. They were telling us on the tour that uh, it was a family owned um, business and that they get all their beef and fish like fresh every day and so it's, it was really cool to see that and then all their potatoes i mean uh, the potatoes that, that they use to make the fries or the chips um are all fresh too so that's it was really good i had a keen dino burger which is basically like a normal burger it had interestingly enough it had like these mar mozzarella cheese like shreds instead of like an actual slice so that was really interesting uh, but the burger was like really good and it also came with and i also got a bag of chips uh or fries <laughs> and um that was really good too they were topped with like salt and vinegar but it's like literally a bag of chips so uh, as you can see like they literally just like stuffed a bunch of, of the um fries into the bag and then like mix it all together um it was really good it was only seven dollars so definitely like really cheap but it was like definitely either my first favorite or like tied for first with the um, Brannigan's pub meal that I had. It was like really high quality and really good, really good food. Um, so yeah, the rest of the day, um, don't really have much planned. I, there's like two more hours here. I might go to our museum or just like walk around the city or something. Um, and then we head back uh, for the four hour bus ride back to Dublin. Since I've been here though, the weather has been like crazy. So as you can see now, it's like pretty sunny out. But every like 10 minutes or so, like it just starts raining out of nowhere. And uh, the tour guide was saying that this is like normal. Like it just starts raining and then stops raining, then it's sunny. And then it just starts right back up again. But yeah, so the weather here is kind of crazy, but it's a really beautiful town. A lot more stuff to do than in Carlingford, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go explore and then uh, we'll head back and I'll uh, talk about some of the future stuff that I plan for the channel in the next couple of weeks. So let's go. So it's really nice out right now and I walked a little ways and I'm at a place called World's End. This is actually the place from the intro uh, to the video. And um, shout out to all my Pirates of the Caribbean nerds out there because the third movie is called World's End. So I just thought that, that was really cool. There's a bunch of ships around here too, like you saw the mast earlier. And um, yeah, so that was, was something cool. Um, it's really nice out right now, like actually if you just look around. Um, definitely changed from last week because there wasn't like much sun you couldn't really see anything but all like the colors are popping out uh, and the grass is so green here too um, but yeah enough fangirling we're just gonna keep going keep exploring and yeah let's knock out West Cork
So whenever I first got here, the tide was so low. It was as if those boats right there were on like mud and were just like sitting there. So the tide has definitely risen since we've gotten here. That's pretty cool to see. All right, yo, just finished exploring and everything. It's like five o'clock almost right now. About to head back, four hour bus ride. So I'll get there around nine. I'm gonna be like so tired. I'm not gonna be able to have enough energy to do an outro. So we're doing the outro here. Hope everyone enjoyed the episode. Happy spring break to everyone. Hopefully you guys have a good week. Um, uh, but a couple of announcements regarding spring break. Uh, my spring break is two weeks. So for the next two weeks, I literally, I'll be here tomorrow, which is Sunday. And I'll be here for St. Patrick's Day. But other than that, the rest of the time, I'll be in two other countries. So, um, as far as vlogs, next week, I'll either post the St. Patrick's Day vlog, which I'll have to shoot and edit in the same day because I'm not taking my laptop to any of the countries. Um, it's either going to be that or the... So, those were nice goals, but um, yeah, I just go rambling on about all, my whole plan I had in mind, but the weekend was so crazy. And I've had no time the past two weeks to do any of that. So we're getting it now. And um, yeah, so sorry about that. But uh, we're back. Weekly uploads are back. And yeah, so enjoy the rest of the vlog. And yeah, I'll definitely be posting a lot more. So watch out for that. I think it pretty much covers everything. Hope you all have a good day. Um, you guys smash the like goal yet again. So if this video gets to three likes, I'll do an Irish meme review. And that'll be one that I'll post probably in the next two weeks while I'm on spring break. But yeah, I uh, love you guys. Thank you for tuning in um, and uh, for supporting me during this time. I really appreciate that. So without further ado, uh, here's a song I made last December during finals week. I was bored, so I just made it. So let's go. Here's a clue of the first country I'm gonna go to. If you know, you know. <laughs>